What's going on everybody? My name is Robert Gaspar. Welcome to the video. In today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, it's going to be something along the lines of do you have vision or what's your vision looking like? And I'm not just talking about your, your eye vision, but I kind of am at the same time. No, but we're, what we're going to be talking about today is the vision of where you are going. So today is January 3rd, right? Do you picture yourself January 3rd in 2019? Like, do you have you thought about where you're going to be? So that's kind of what we're going to be talking about. It's going to be an off the cuff video. I'm not going to do too much editing. So if you're interested, please leave the uh, video a thumbs up and a comment of what you thought. And if you're new to the channel, uh, we got to get those subscribers up, guys. Like, we're at like 170 right now. So let's see if we can hit 200 by the end of the uh, by the end of the week. Uh, so pretty much without further ado, let's get into the topic of today's video. Okay, so when it comes to vision, I think the best example would be to talk about this man right over here. So Arnold was a bodybuilder. I mean, he moved on from bodybuilding to acting to being a governor and he always preaches that having a vision will give you a better chance at being successful because that way at least you are more focused and like when you wake up at 4 a.m. to do whatever it is that you have to do or if you go to bed at 4 a.m. because you didn't have enough time to do everything in the day so you had to stay up later you know those times are gonna come and it's literally how Gary Vee always talks about how you have to eat shit. You have to keep eating shit because that's how you get a greater reward at the end. But it's not even about the reward. It's about trying to leave... Okay, now I'm getting into like philosophy and stuff, but let's not go there, guys. Let's not go there just yet. But pretty much what I'm trying to tell you is do you know what you want? And if you don't, you got to try shit. You gotta do stuff, you gotta try stuff. And like, I'm not perfect, you know, I'm still learning about myself, but I have a lot of goals and I have a lot of vision in what I'm trying to do. And now that I'm in a better place and I'm a little bit, a little bit more successful, um, I feel like I'm talking to the people who are struggling right now. I'm talking to you who, if, if you're struggling right now and you don't know what you wanna do in life, just know it gets better. Like a year ago, I was homeless. I was sleeping on an air mattress in different people's homes, you know? It gets better, but you have to be the one that puts in the effort. If you do not want to be successful, it's not gonna just come to you. I used to literally watch motivational videos and I would just tell myself, yeah, just because I'm watching this video, I'm gonna be successful. Like shit's just gonna start coming up to me. People are gonna come up to me and offer me great investments and like I'm gonna make so much money one day and I'm gonna get that Lamborghini that I want but it just doesn't work that way. And the sooner you see that, the sooner you will be successful, everyone. Um, but yeah, so that's like my biggest thing is you gotta like, you gotta be in charge. Don't let, don't let anybody tell you that you're not gonna be successful. Don't let no one tell you you're not doing it for you know whatever reason. If you wanna be a millionaire, fuck it. You wanna be a millionaire, be a millionaire. If you're doing it just, to, just for a Lamborghini, I guess, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not there yet because I know like some people like, have different goals me personally I have my goals you know you may have your goals right whatever it is that pushes you use it don't be don't be like why am I doing you know do you you do you and no one no one can tell you anything you do you family and your friends will probably not agree with a lot of your decisions at first but you know how you combat that you know how you combat everyone from you know what if, if this is your position you're green right you're you have this idea and this is your friends these are your friends and these are your family members they have like different ideas they're they're a different color you have to be able to prove them wrong stick to your gut and try to do whatever it is that you're trying to do if no one in your family's ever played sports and you are the first to you know, play sports and you get really good and you think you can make it to the NBA or to the NFL or to the MLB, fucking go for it. Do the research, don't just, don't just wing it. You should do some research obviously on how to get your vertical up, how to dribble the ball better, how to throw a fucking football. Like that shit's obvious. You gotta like know how to play obviously. And like if you're trying to build websites and like have your own business. Okay, if you're trying to have your own business, right? And no one ever, and no one in your family's ever had a business. Everyone's always worked for somebody else and been dependent on a paycheck, right? They're not gonna understand the mentality of uh, why you wanna own a business. Yes, it's a lot more work in the beginning, right? But the payoff, 
is a lot better, right? So I'm learning that in order to be successful, like if I, I wouldn't be able to be an entrepreneur if I didn't have a space of my own to focus on my ventures, have my books, have my laptop, have a space where I can edit videos. No one in my family, no one in my life believed in me to do it. So I told everyone I'm, I'm leaving. I didn't tell anyone. I mean, like in my head, like I told, I, I kind of cleared myself away from everyone, and I, I'm separating myself now just so I can focus on my goals and my passion. And it just this stuff gets me super passionate because everyone in my life was holding me back, and I was blaming them, but it's not their fault. It's not their fault because it's not their fault. It's my fault. I want to do this, so I have to enable myself to be in this position. So it's not my, it's not their fault that I wasn't successful there. It's my fault because I wasn't putting myself in a position like this. See how, see I learn, I watch a lot of Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, I, I watch a lot of Ty Lopez. <laughs> I watch, uh, who else do I like to watch? I'm trying to look at my books, trying to remember people. But primarily just Gary Vee and Ty Lopez, honestly, those are the two I look up to probably the most. Uh, and then I have a few close mentors. I have a couple, I have like two Vinnies in my life that are like really motivational, they help me. Uh, they're, they're back, one's back home in LA, and my other friend Vinny, he's in North Carolina. I met someone new, uh, he's in uh, Tempe, he's not in Tempe, I believe in, he's in Scottsdale, Arizona. I met him recently and he's uh, he's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm getting to know him, I'm, I'm taking his advice. The man gave me uh, homework, he told me to go read this book and I'm on it, I'm, I'm reading it, I'm, I'm reading The Richest Man in Babylon right now. So. It's pretty simple. You just gotta go after it. You have to have vision and what you want. And literally, right now, one of my goals is to own a Lamborghini Huracan. That's my one of my biggest goals right now. I want a Lamborghini Huracan so bad. I literally drool over the fact that I'm going to own one soon, within the next few years. I wanna feel the Alcantara. I want it so bad that I visualize how it's gonna feel when I'm driving. I wanna literally feel the Alcantara steering wheel when I'm shifting with the paddles. I wanna be able to um, go to strata mode and literally like just blow by people and like have that adrenaline rush. And it's not to stunt, it's not to flaunt. I just like cars and I want a, I want a cool car. So that feeling just gets me hyped. I'm gonna stay motivated. I'm gonna keep putting in the work. But with that being said, you guys, this is the end of the video. Feel free to check out my Instagram. It's Robert Gaspar. If you need some online coaching, I'm taking on 10 clients for the month of January. I'm new to the online space, but I have a couple of really good mentors who kill it with online training. They know exactly what they're doing. I have them coaching me through it. And uh, that's another big thing we gotta talk about, courses and coaching, but we will get into that in a later video. Um, I love to invest in myself. I always try to buy books and get courses and mentors and coaches. So investing in yourself is really important. Uh, but that's only if you want to be at the 1% of the 1%. If you're trying to do go above and beyond and live a life. So I, I always have this quote, if you want to live like no one else, you have to live like no one else. So you got to do what other people aren't going to do so you can have what other people aren't going to have or live that life anymore. So with that being said, I'm going to conclude the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, please subscribe and leave a video a thumbs up and a comment down below on what else you guys would like to see. Um, with that being said, uh, I'm going to go make me some chicken Alfredo pasta because I'm starving and I hit shoulders. Really dope video coming out uh, tomorrow. And then, by the way, guys, I'm sorry I didn't upload yesterday. I forgot. I didn't forget, but I, I, I lost the content that I filmed previously that day. Uh, I was editing and it just deleted, and I didn't know what else to do. So, and because I had to go to work, I had to go to work, so I didn't have time to edit a video. Uh, so, this is it. I will see you guys tomorrow.